monster. Ever had that moment where you clearly hit the target but you didn't apply the element? Well, that is because of ICD or internal cooldown. And that is precisely what we're going to be talking about today in today's Genshin Science. The last time around, we talked about elemental gauge theory, which have to do with the amount of each element being applied on each attack. And this time around, we're going to talk about the frequency instead. And together, they make the fundamental of applying element in Genshin Impact. When you go and apply element in Genshin Impact, you'll notice that sometimes it doesn't work. Here you can see that my second Barbara normal attack was unable to apply Hydra to the enemy and therefore did not reduce the shield at all. But then my next attack is capable of applying Hydra again. And we can observe a similar pattern on like the Anemone Hypostasis where my first Barbara attack will do a swirl and then no swirl on the second and the third attack and then on the fourth one it will swirl once again. And that is because of internal cooldown, which is basically saying similar attack cannot reapply element in a short amount of time. However, a similar attack is kind of vague because the loot can clearly apply pyro on every single one of his certain onslaughts. To be precise, attack that share the same ICD tag will have an internal cooldown between them. For example, here you can see that Claymore character like the loot will share a cooldown between their normal attack. And this explains why the loot cannot apply pyro on every single one of his normal attack and therefore cannot vaporize every single one of his normal attack. And if you observe, you can see that the loot charge attack share cooldown with his normal attack, meaning that if you vaporize a normal attack, you cannot vaporize a charge attack immediately after. And if you observe here, you can see that the owner charge attack actually have a cooldown between charge attack and this helps explain why you cannot apply cryo on every single Diona's charge attack despite being an archer. People commonly have this misconception of the C4 lets you aim faster and therefore lets you get more charge attack off and therefore can apply more cryo and break the shield faster. But as it turned out, because of internal cooldown between uh, the owner's charge attack, this actually does not help in terms of breaking shield at all. In the same chart, you can even see that Ganyu's charge attack do not have any ICD at all, unlike the owner, meaning that as long as you hit your shot on Ganyu, you will apply cryo. Now cooldown do not share between character. For example, if your Deluke normal attack is on cooldown of applying element, it will not affect any of your party member in any way. Your Sting Shield will be uh, able to apply element uh, with his own cooldown, your Hu Tao will be able to apply element with her own cooldown, and so will your official will be able to apply her element with her own cooldown as well. Now that you know there's a cooldown between applying element, the question becomes, what's the actual cooldown? And as it turns out, there's two types of cooldown. There's regular human being cooldowns, and then there's Fischl's. For magical reason, Fischl being Fischl, being the Trinity that she is, she is using a different cooldown counter than every other character in the game. But what is this cooldown counter? After applying an element, there's two ways to reset your cooldown to apply element again. The first way is to simply wait 2.5 seconds so that the cooldown can reset. The second way being hitting it 3 times, known as the free hit rules. Here you can see on the first attack I do with Hu Tao, I'm able to apply Pyro and trigger a overload onto the Electro Hypostasis. But the second attack I'm unable to do so because my elemental application is on cooldown, so therefore I did not apply Pyro and did not trigger a overload. And this of course go for the third attack as well. However, at this point, I have attacked it for a total of 3 times, including the one where I initially applied my element. And the free hit rule basically say that, okay, at this point, the internal cooldown of applying element will be reset, meaning that my next attack will once again be able to apply element again. And as you can see on my fourth attack, the cooldown has reset, so I can once again apply pyro, and this of course triggered an other overload onto the electro hypostasis. Do you know that you have to hit the attack for it to count? Here you can see that I intentionally missed my third attack, and since I missed, it did not count toward the free hit rules. And therefore, on my fourth attack, it did not apply pyro and did not trigger the overload. And only that attack will advance the hit counter. You can see here my dilute normal attack did not apply pyro and trigger an overload, because Searing Onslaught does not increase the counter on his normal attack. The only way to increase the free hit rules normal counter on its normal attack is to use other normal attack or charge attack that share the same ICD tag. Of course, as mentioned, the other way is to just wait 2.5 seconds. Here you can see my first attack apply overload and then all I need to do is sit around for 2.5 seconds and then my next attack can once again apply pyro and do an overload again. 
Now, do you know that the hit counter and the timer can actually coexist? However, the timer will reset the hit counter regardless of what hit counter you are on. And that might be a bit hard to understand, so let me demonstrate for you. Starting off with attack number 1, which trigger a overload, and then to attack number 2 and attack number 3, resetting our hit counter. Because of free hit rule, this allow our next attack to do an overload again. And then this right here is attack number 2. However, you'll then realize it's been 2.5 seconds since our very very first overload. This allow our next attack to do an overload once again, even though our hit counter is only at 2. Now, even though our hit counter have not reached 3, this will still reset our hit counter since we triggered it a overload. And as you can see, on our next attack, we did not trigger a overload at all. And hopefully this helped explain why characters like Kaya apply crowd very very unevenly because of the free hit rule as well as the 2.5 second ICD rule. And as for Fischl, she likes to do 4 hit instead of 3 and 5 seconds instead of 2.5 seconds. Maybe she just like being different, who knows. And at this point you might have realized, with C6 Fischl, also will attack every single time your character attack as well. Does this mean that it will advance hit counter faster? And indeed it does. And that is the reason why precisely C6 Fischl can apply more electro, because you're getting more hits in so you can get more hit counter reset. In fact, some constellations come into play in ways that you might not have imagined before. For example, Kaya C6 will apply or generate one more icicles, which means instead of 3 icicle, you will now have 4 icicle. Which, in combination with the free hit rule, it will let you trigger it slightly faster and slightly more consistently. You can see similar thing in Sinchu C6. Sinchu C6 say that after activating 2 sword, it will greatly enhance the first sword attack, but what does that even mean? Carefully observe that there's a pattern in Sinchu's elemental burst. He first attack 2 times, and then 3 times, and finally 5 times. Now you might not know this, but Sinchu's elemental burst actually have ICD, but only between the group of the sword themselves. Meaning that these sword right here actually share an ICD between themselves. Now what's interestingly is that when you use Sinchu's sword with C6, the first sword will apply Hydro. However, the next two sword, because being on ICD, they will not be able to apply Hydro. However, because of the free hit rules, at this point we have attack one two and three times, meaning that we can once again apply Hydro and that's precisely what the fourth one does. And this is why C6 Sinshu work differently than a C0 Sinshu would. The last time when we talked about Elemental Gauge 3, I talked about how Geo character like Zhongli or Albedo can mess up and steal vape from character like Hu Tao or the Luke. However, and then some of you ask, well why do people run Hu Tao Sinshu with double Geo then? And the answer like precisely in here because of ICD. Since C6 Sinshu can apply Hydro twice on the third hit of its elemental burst, and Zhongli or Albedo will only do a crystallized reaction one out of every three hit because of the three hit ICD rules. Knowing this information, it is possible to work around it by desyncing the sequence of their attack and just timing it around ICD. Little stuff like this is why Diona can apply Crowd twice on her elemental skills. And by now, you should know the exact reason why. Comment below if you know it, and if you don't, well, you're stupid. I hope you guys have fun learning about ICD and progressing your knowledge in the category of science. Uh, of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be doing a Kazuya Free Crafting stream this first day, so don't forget to come check it out on my Twitch. And I'll see you guys all next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.